What's up, y'all? This is Rain Man, and this is gonna be my video pertaining to movies. As a matter of fact, horror movies that have been remade. Um, so as you as you are looking at the pick right now, this is to the upcoming remake horror classic of It. Now, if you don't know what the movie It is about, or you don't know who Pennywise the Dancing Clown is, you better go on Google, you better go on YouTube, and you better look up the movie. Uh, it's pretty good. I think you'll get a few laughs out of it. And if you want to read the book, I recommend you read the book because it gives out more details to it. Um, the movie is pretty good too, but it just misses out a few things out of the book, you know. Either way, they're both good. Book, movie, at least you under if you understand it, that's all it matters. Now, um, hmm. So I posted up the pick, and you know, a lot of people seem to disagree about, you know, they shouldn't make a, they shouldn't remake the classic, the horror classics, you know, um, because mo lately they have been shitty and all that. Well, have y'all ever stopped and think just to realize the whole point of a remake of a horror classic is not to just uh, remake it into their own version? To the director's version, but to make the characters more evil than the original character. Um, for example, um, let's start off with uh, Michael Myers. Um, how did that movie begin, and how did it end? It began with Michael um, wearing the clown mask. He kills his sister, walks out the house. The mom and dad took off his mask, and he just stood there. How did it end? Dr. Loomis shot Michael multiple times. And he uh, fell off the balcony, and you know when Doctor Loomis walked away, he looked at Mike. He walked back, looked at Michael. He was gone, you know. Now, how did this remake happen? Like, okay, we understood why he killed. You know, first he started killing. Well, first off, uh, he was bullied, you know, by the people at his school. He was bullied by his stepdad, his sister, mostly everybody. The only person that actually really cared was his mom. And, you know, he took his anger out on animals at first. Whether it was dogs, cats, or rats, he, he killed them. Sometimes he took them to school. He took pictures of them, you know. And then he finally killed people. And then, yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy, you know. And he, we all saw the Halloween, the 1989 version where he kills that dog. Um, did y'all ever expect in part two where he killed that dog and he ate it? I mean, I didn't expect that at first, you know. I thought he was eating actually a human, but it was actually a dog. And I was like, what the fuck, man, for real? That's pretty badass, you know. But yes, they have made the Michael Myers version of the this version more evil than the other one you know now let's start with Jason now Jason his story is complicated you know if you ask yourself that it is complicated his life his the whole Friday the 13th is complicated you know um he wasn't the original killer of the first Friday the 13th it was actually his mother he didn't appear till the last part of Friday the 13th and then he started his killings at part two. Um, would you, you know how Jason is, you know, like whoever comes up towards him or whoever he sees, he's going to kill them. Did you ever expect Jason to actually, um, in the remake of the Michael Bay version, did you ever expect him to hold that girl for captive just because he looked like her, his mother? And... You know, one thing that I found really kind of crazy is when people are like, dude, in that movie, he ran for the first time. That is false. He did not run the first time in that movie. He did not run the first time inside Freddy vs. Jason. He actually ran the first time in part two, then in part three, then in part four. Part six and after part six, he was basically a zombie, except he was not a fleshing zombie. He was just a six foot tall, six foot tall walking retard with a giant machete. You know, um, but yeah, uh, 
you seen sides of each character that you wouldn't normally see, you know. And now the Freddy version, this one, uh, the 2010 and the 1984, I believe that's when it was made, the very first one. Now, without a doubt, I love the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Number one, I love Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, you know. It's more interesting, you know, and you can never have a better horror story than Nancy and Freddy. But here's the thing. I think a lot of people don't like the, well, they didn't like the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street because it wasn't Robert England. You know, they're not, they're used to Robert England because Robert England was the one and only Freddy Krueger until Jackie Earl Hart played him. Now, what actually made Freddy Krueger Freddy Krueger? Was it actually his glove? Was it his humor towards his victims? Was it his hat, his sweater, his face, or his, or was it Robert England? You know, or was it all? Was it all of that? For Jackie Earl Hart, yeah. It kind of, they try to make him look like a real burnt victim, but instead it kind of looked like as if he was like an alien or a rat, some shit like that, you know? Um, but I think Jackie Earl Hart did a great job because it showed a serious side to Freddy. He showed a more evil side to Freddy, you know? Like in the original, in the other versions before, um, you know, the Nightmare on Elm Street from 84 and up, before 2010. They made Freddy a child murderer. Now the public said that uh, he was he was a pedophile. Wes Craven, that was not his intention. His intention was not to make him a pedophile. He was just to make him a child murderer. But it he seemed to went along with it because it made more sense, you know. So yeah, I mean, I I say Jack Arrow Hard made. Freddy into a darker, more evil person, and that's the whole thing about these remakes. It's just not to recreate them inside that person's view, but it's just to make the character, the the legendary, the legendary characters. It's just to make them more evil, you know, make them more evil than the original ones. And they did a pretty good job. I mean, and one more thing about this this Freddy thing. Um, I don't think people are you know, complaining much about the Jason and uh, Michael Myers, well, it's because they wear the same mask, you know. Jason wears the same mask, so people are like, that's not Jason. Or whenever uh, Michael wears his mask, they're like, that's not Michael. They don't do that. If you wear the same mask, they're going to go like, yeah, that's Michael. Yeah, that's Jason. But whenever you add a new look to Freddy, no, that's not Freddy. Even with the glove, even with the sweater, even with the hat, he's not Freddy, you know. But it's all good though. So, Pennywise, Pennywise, Dancing Clown. What is he gonna look like? Who's gonna play him? How are they gonna p- portray the story? Are they gonna make him more evil than the original Pennywise? Hopefully, yes. But as a clown, I bet they're gonna try to make him into a more humorous. You know, I mean, he's a clown. You know. Um, but yes, that's what I got to say about this horror remake uh, situation stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say about that. So leave me what y'all think and yeah.